Hello folks, this is Nipun Joshi from cricketmerchant.com. Uh, today I'm here to uh, help you see and learn how to knock in a cricket bat. Uh, there are a few things that we require in order to uh, start knocking in a bat. One is you need to have a bat oiled in uh, with a natural linseed oil. Now uh, any brand natural cricket bat oil or a natural linseed oil will do the job. Second you need is the wooden mallet, uh, either one-sided or two-sided. Any wooden mallet will also do the job, but we prefer you to have um, a CM brand wooden mallet or any other brand. And the second, third thing that you may want to have is the leather ball mallet. And the reason why we use leather ball mallet to actually figure out whether the bat still has uh, or is getting sim marks after we continue uh, or after we start knocking in a crooked bat. Linseed oil is the preferred oil for a crooked bat. It helps maintain the bat moisture and allows to increase bat performance in life. The correct technique for oiling a bat is with paper towel or a soft wax. All areas that are exposed must be oiled. It is far better to under oil than over oiling a bat. Over oiling would actually cause the bat to rot. And it is always important to make sure right pro procedure is very much followed while oiling a cooking bag. Bag fitted with bat face still needs to be oiled on edges, shoulder, toe, and back of the bag to ensure the bag does not dry too quickly. Do not oil the bag if it is having the poly coating. The right process of oiling will increase the life of the bag and will help elevate the performance of an English wheel of cricket bat. Make sure every exposed wood on a bat is oiled with right proper technique and is placed in upright position once it's complete. Here is the bat that we'll be knocking in today. Um, as, as we can see, the edges are pretty uh, sharp and that's exactly where we suggest uh, you to start knocking your bat from. Knocking in the edges are a very important process uh, of um, you know a cricket bat as well the bottom six inch uh, of toe on a cricket bat. So we'll start using the wooden mallet here. And as we see, um, you know, this is already knocked in. We will be starting, or we will start knocking in the edges, toe, but precisely to start with is the edges, edge part. So what we'll do is, we'll start a real slow process of, uh, and I'll, I'll help you guys see exactly what I'm doing here. It's not directly hitting on the edge, but uh, at, at an angle, to start knocking in the back. And what I'm doing here, what I'm doing here is round. I'm trying to round this edges up in such a way it does not splice or split or any such process. I'll show you the difference and what I'm trying to do here. So let's see, we see a little bit of difference on the edge part and I'm gonna uh, do a close up. Now if you see here, um, we see a little bit of round edge um, compared to the other area. So if you, if you look very close, this is still sharp pointed edge and this has become a little round and that's exactly what I need to continue doing all the way on both sides of the back. Um, continue knocking in uh, the edges 
just the way I was doing it. Never try to hit a bat edge or any portion of the bat at 90 degree angle. Try to maintain an angle that's not 90 degree. If you continue hitting really hard um, at, a, at a 90 degree angle, in fact, you know, you might be damaging a cricket bat. So start slow and make sure it does not splice. You need to start very slow and continue rounding the edge all the way around. As you can see now, um, we have pretty much rounded off the edges. You see it very close um, versus compared to the other side, which is still pointed. So we'll continue uh, rounding the edges on the this side as well, the one that you see, and we'll try to make it as round as this side of the bat. So this is it's a, it's a very patient job. Um, to do knocking, you cannot rush um, and knock a bat. Again, you know, as I mentioned, we'll continue rounding these edges as well. So we are ready with the second edge. Um, very much you can see it has been rounded off enough you can still see uh, those being kind of sharp edges uh, continue working on it um, to round it off just like the other side of the edge uh, as you see and i'll continue working on rounding off the edges so the other part that i wanted to show you is once you have both the edges um, both the outer edges done this is the area uh, this is the area that you know you may want to focus um, because that also uh, is most crucial part of the bat, the toe section. Now, if you hear the sound quality from different areas of the bat, you will understand why it requires the most um, um, importance. Uh, and and um, you know you got to be very careful when you knock in uh, the toe section. Now, I want to show you the ping on this area. As you see, I mean, you know, the mallet is bouncing off like a spring on certain area of the bat versus the toe. It sticks at the back toe. It basically sticks at the back toe because it does not have the rebound capability of um, on any bat. Toe uh, is generally very weak portion of the bat and you want to make sure that the six inch of the toe is ideally knocked in very well with a great careness. Again, you know, so what you do is, in order to knock a toe, here is how you should start doing it. Again, never hit 90 degrees like this. You will damage the back. Never hit 90 degrees. You always go with an angle. As if you're sliding the mallet off the back face. Again, this is a very patient activity. You got to be very patient um, on knocking a bad toe. You don't want to splice. You don't want to hit hard. You don't want to hit an angle 90 degree. You don't want to hit at a 90 degree. Always hit at 45 degrees, 60 degree angle. The other thing I wanted to show is, um, you know, using a ball leather leather ball mallet. You can ideally see, and I'm going to help you guys see, um, you know. There is no as such ball sim mark except this area that you see. You're able to see a ball sim mark, right? So as long as you continue seeing those ball sim mark, you need to continue hitting a bat with a mallet. And I'm going to try and make some ball sim, sim marks on the bat right now. And I'm not scared hitting it hard because, you know, that, that portion I need to be 
making sure that you know once I have knocked in a bat a little bit, I'm not scared knocking in a bat with you know little force. Now the process I, I I'm checking on this right now is to make sure is my bat ready to play. Whether I see a ball sim mark, yes or no. If I do see a ball sim mark, I need to continue knocking it with the mallet. And I'm gonna so now here is the close up view for you all to see. Now we see plenty of ball sim marks right there. Plenty of balls in marks, which tells me that I need to continue knocking in with the wooden manner. And I continue doing so. Now again, this is the toe portion, so I'm not hitting at a 90 degree. I need to continue, continue doing that. And on the sweet spot, you're fine to hit at a 90 degree, no issues. But start slow and then gradually increase the force. And if you notice, I'm not hitting the bottom six part at a 90 degree. Make sure guys, uh, once you start playing with this bat, after it's knocked in, you could put a face cover, um, you know, granicals or Kukubura Armor Tech, which I prefer. Those are pretty neat and nice uh, face covers. It has a uh, edge threaded and then a clean, um, strong uh, sheet on the top that also um, gives you a naked view of the below as well. Again, you know, this is actually how you knock in a bat and any questions you could guys, you know, you guys uh, send us an email, contact us via contact us page on cricketmerchant.com and we'll be help, you know, ready to help you and answer your questions. Again, we provide you knocking service and it's available at a certain cost. You can find that under accessories bat care section on our website. Again, this is Nipun Joshi and this was a session on how to knock in a cricket bat. Um, from cricketmerchant.com. Hope you guys enjoy and once you're ready uh, and follow the process, go out and make some more runs. Uh -huh.